Hey, pals, I want to talk about, if I ever get the chance to, the Falcon Winter Soldier episode one, or review it a little bit. Give a score at the end, and I know this is like a week late, but my mental health needs time, and I'm making time. I'm gonna try to upload this tonight, but I don't know. And I'll try to have the episode two up review up quite shortly after this, because we're gonna get going back on track. I also have lots of videos up and ready to go, but <laughs> I'm not ready to put them out yet. Um, and they're quite old and very dated, but whatever. Let's get going. Okay. Non-spoiler review. This is amazing. Um, this show is quite different from WandaVision, and I'm sure everyone knows that. This one we knew generally more of the premise, more character-driven. Um... It is more character driven. Hold on, sorry. And um, we you, the episodes are quite longer, at least by like around roughly twenty minutes. So it gives more time to delve into the characters as well. There will only be six episodes, so it'll be roughly the same time, but episodes are structured quite differently. Um, it's the episode one here is a bit more of a slow burn into it, but we are both getting more characters and more plot than WandaVision episode 1. WandaVision started off more exposition-y. This is also more exposition, but in a quite different way. Um, WandaVision was an amazing series, and it was built the right way. Doing it by decades and starting off slow, because Wanda didn't know a lot at the beginning, and then eventually started to figure stuff out. So this is going along with what Wanda knew. That was, and this is going along with what Falcon Winter Soldier know. It's, it's, it's accelerating at a more rapid rate, and we're going with the characters. Um, the first scene, quite amazing. It will blow you away if you have not seen it yet. Recommend you watch it now. This has some great lines, some great scenes. You really get to see Sebastian Stan and Anthony Mackie's real-life personalities come out in some of these characters, because... Their humor starts to reflect that of the actual characters, despite, especially with Sebastian Chan and Bucky Barnes, their characters being quite different in personality. Actually, their humor is very similar with Anthony and Sam and Sebastian and Bucky. Watch this now. This has me and my brother cracking up a lot and also just like enjoying these amazing action sequences and it and without giving you any spoilers yet it does a good job at diving into mental health a little bit just giving more insight to that because it's something we have been getting a little bit more of re recently but do not have a lot of good discussion about in the media and i'm glad we're getting that so let's talk a little bit more about this, um, but now with spoilers, so please stop watching if you haven't seen it, but I expect you to have, because this is like a week or so late, or more, probably way more than a week, but let's keep going. Uh, so, let's talk about, um, so from the beginning we get this action sequence with the LAF, which is Batroc saying it was so nice to see Batroc back, because I don't know, his fight with Cap was interesting uh, in The Winter Soldier. Uh, but Falcon's costume, amazing. Red Wing, it's more of a counterpart with him, which is nice. And they work together, and Falcon really seemed to radiate main character energy here, which was amazing. And what else we got? What else we got? Uh, Bucky... His scenes with Yori were nice. You, the flashback to Winter Soldier was very nice. The action, just in general, bravo. Um, when he realized it was the one person he killed that heart really pulled the heartstrings. What else? What else? What else? Sorry, sorry. Um, they start, they start separate here. I think. It was nice seeing Rhodey back. It was very nice seeing Rhodey back. That really got me. It was very interesting. Um, the flag smashers you see here, they're going to be something more. And we see a little bit 
here and there. And it wasn't what I was expecting with them. But I like it. And I like how it ties into the blip as well. With the Flag Smashers, we also... Okay. Torres. Joaquin. I think his name is Joaquin Torres. Apparently, he's the next Falcon. I don't know if we need another Falcon in the MCU. I would not be opposed if his character is very different and grows in this season. But otherwise, uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, the Flag Smashers are very interesting. Um, very, very interesting. I'm interested to see where that takes us. Uh, it was nice getting to see Sam's sister. I want to see more of her. She had a very nice character. Um, and the loan sequence was actually quite interesting. This, I mean, it, despite it being a regular thing, you know, it's like the life of the character. And But it's interesting, you know, he, how he gets paid and everything. And that they still wouldn't give him it and, and stuff, even though he's an Avenger. When, personally, I think that would they would have given it easily to Tony Stark or Captain America. That's my opinion. But, you know, just... this show, for any of you who don't know, will have to do quite a lot about race. And having seen the second episode, it does quite a lot. Um, and if you're not ready for that, be ready because there's going to be some heated discussions happening here. And... <laughs> people are gonna say it gets too political <laughs> and that's just how it's gonna be you know um you get a white you know the white man replacing him someone that's not sam at the end we saw him in the trailers but and press interviews a little bit but I'm not liking it. It's, I'm, I'm excited to see where the series goes. Personally, I liked episode one of WandaVision a little bit more than I liked episode one of here. Just episode one there, I looked at it a little bit more. This one was packed with a lot of good stuff, but it didn't tie it up together well into a nice episode. As I would like it. I would like to see where episode 2 takes us. Currently. At least after seeing this. I do not have a lot of. Want to see more. I still would like to see episode 2. And see where it takes us. But episode 1. Of WandaVision had me on the edge of my seat. A lot more than this one did. Uh, pers okay I would give this one like. Uh, 7. 6.9 out of 10. Not the best, but it was very nice. I enjoyed it. It was an episode. <laughs> you know. Uh, so, thanks for watching. If you did, you don't have to. But there'll be an episode two. Reaction. Not reaction. Review. Next. Peace. See ya.